We manufacture uh, chassis for the holiday home, lodge and park home sector. As a business we, we're trying to concentrate more on value engineering of the products that we deliver into the industry. The difficulties with that is managing the change and the change culture not just in our industry but in our customers industries as well. Some of my work is looking at how our chemical PPE uh, keeps people safe. Um, so people wear the chemical PPE to stop chemicals from coming into contact with their skin. We've set up a project in Hull called One Hull of a Forest with the aim to plant 200,000 trees in the city. And we've been working with the IIC and the University of Hull to develop a carbon calculator. The main aim of that was to allow individuals and companies to understand their carbon footprint and then offset that by planting trees within the project within the city. I'm a partner in uh, Emily and Sons, the family farming business who've been farming here uh, near Driffield for over a hundred years. We grow uh, vining peas um, in our rotation and have done for a, a long, long time. We're looking at um, coming up with a, an innovative um, idea to try and mitigate against some of the devastating effects that uh, flooding brings to the, to the region. We've, we've gone into a real focus of innovation and value engineering. Um, we, we actually contacted Kevin Cassidy at the Sparks Fund, um, who then introduced us to, to Aura and, and David Dawson, and, and certainly opened the doors for us in, in uh, where we want the, the avenues and the roads we want to go down. Some of the weakness in the standards is around mix, uh, permeation of mixtures, so how mixtures of chemicals go through our products. We knew the university, Mike had done a KTP with them, which delivered incredibly well. There, there was so much work there to do, so much knowledge that we didn't currently have, that maybe in many years' time we could gather together. Um, but we quickly realised there was a, a very healthy scope to do a second KTP with the University of Hull. We definitely need the um, academics to, to be given us that detail so that we can really um, drive that home to uh, as part of that amenity planning phase um, so that when we do get the flood water they can understand the level of contamination and even to the point where we may have testing kits that can give us that sort of detail. Great to receive support from the IOC and they point us in the right direction in finding partners at the university that can undertake work that we didn't have the in-house capability to do and that's allowed us to really add another string to our bow and put something to market that really we couldn't accomplish on our own. From Dave's original uh, consultation, we, we progressed that to uh, work with a number of academics looking at the uh, uh, special properties in P waste, um, looking at, uh, at uh, carbon filtration and, and a lot of other technologies that I wasn't aware of. Even from the very beginning of initiating this application, uh, the support from the university academics who we had identified as the ones who could potentially help us with this product uh, was amazing. It's vitally important that, uh, that we, can, we can get that uh, right level of, of detail and, um, and, and actually um, make it safer for the individuals that are going to be um, planning and working um, with flood risk moving forward. Being able to work with Hull University and their team of academics um, was something uh, we've never done before. Uh, we found the whole process relatively easy. So it's been great to work with the AIC team and as this, as this has come to fruition we've already been planting trees but now we're getting ready to launch our own One Hull of the Forest website with an embedded carbon calculator. Our experience um, with the Flood Innovation Centre has been extremely positive and um, we've had some really good integration and um, already some really good collaboration and the, the positivity that comes from the team is excellent. And the future plans, if there is something out of this project that could be useful or commercially viable then, uh, then we would look to, uh, look to find partners and work with people, uh, hopefully in the local area, to see if there's uh, something else that we could do. We're just really excited to be working once again with the University of Hull, uh, with the great academics that are there, and really excited to see how this project can revolutionise our industry.